So for those of you that are married, did you guys do anything cool for your favors for your wedding? Because, you know, obviously there are like, there's the bag of the Jordan almonds and here's a thing of bubbles with your initials on it. But today we are making wedding soaps that will be used as wedding favors for upcoming nuptials, which is super cool. But before I get into what we're making today, hello, I'm Mrs. Soap and Clay. Let's make stuff. How's it going, Sudzers? Welcome back to the channel. You are here for another round of 365 days of soap, and today we're doing another custom soap for a wedding. It's actually for the same wedding that we did the lavender honey one for, so you'll see some of the same sort of stamping going on with all of that, and that's cool. But for this particular blend, we're actually playing with a variation of the Hello Gorgeous. So it's the same scent blend that's in the Hello Gorgeous. So you have the ginger lime and the vanilla bean, which is absolutely delightful but we're switching up the colors a little bit as well as the pour itself. Now the client, she wanted sort of a marbling technique to go through both of the soaps for like the female line that we did for this wedding. And so this is sort of similar to the lavender honey, but with really big, beautiful colors. So it's more bold, I think. And I really love the design. Now, if you remember from the Hello Gorgeous video, the ginger lime tends to accelerate and the vanilla bean discolors. So we definitely had to play with that with this pour as well. So let's go check it out and see if I completely ruined some soaps for someone. I need to come up with a better name than GLBB wedding soap to put on the, the website, really. Oh, well, I'll get there, I'll get there. So we are doing a three color swirl with this guy. And again, kind of like a marbling, but like a, I don't know, I don't know. The, the whole goal with this thing is uh, to work with acceleration as well as um, different discoloration because again the ginger lime accelerates and the vanilla bean discolors and so the vanilla bean is in the activated charcoal there in the, the black beaker and the ginger lime is in the purple and there is no scent in the white. So the whole point of this is to create, I would say, marbling-esque, but really it's going to look more like a, you know, hanger, like a standard hanger. I don't know. You'll, we'll see in the pour. Anyway, the oils for this guy, we have a 5% castor oil, 5% hemp oil, 5% argan oil, 35%, yeah, you're done, you can go, yep, 35% olive oil, and then 25% coconut oil and 25% palm. So we're looking at a 50-50 split between solid and uh, liquid oils. And that is going to yield, especially, you know, I make clay soaps and do the things, so that's going to yield a batter that is reasonably thick off the bat, which is good because I am planning on doing a hanger with this, and with a hanger, it's better to have a slightly thicker batter because you want the batter to be you know thick enough to actually pull the colors through but not so thick that it doesn't really do anything yeah so nice medium trace really and that is the white that is going in there that is mixed with the kaolin clay and then also we have the activated charcoal in the black portion and nothing in the purple portion so that would be um you know the the only bit of it that does not have clay in it really and for this particular soap, again, we are working with acceleration and discoloration. So the purple, remember the ginger lime, is in the, the purple. And it always, always accelerates on me. 
So I'm keeping that in mind with the pour and with the, you know, mixing and the blending of the things, expecting that this will be the one that will accelerate the fastest, the purple here. And so I will start using this uh, the first in the, uh, in the pour itself to start getting some of it into the mold and, uh, you know, ready to, to go and do the thing. So at the end of the day, worst case scenario, if the purple is so thick that you cannot swirl it, at least there's some, you know, on the bottom and it's incorporated, whatever. So my thinking is I'm starting with the purple for the swirl and then we will layer the rest on and then pull the hanger through it. But these uh, colors are all looking very nice. The activated charcoal, I use it for, you know, function. So lots of activated charcoal in there, as well as for form. So you get the black, but you also get the awesomeness that comes with the activated charcoal in a soap. Nice detoxing, balancing skin pH, all that jazz. And yeah, everything looks good. And we are ready to move on to the pour. Okay, so on to the pour. Now I'm just going to layer these soaps, these these different colors into the mold. Just no real rhyme or reason doing the, you know, gloppy glop with again, again, I knew this is gonna be a thick batter with this. And I do want that for the hanger swirl. And also the oils that I selected with the castor oil and then having the 50-50 blend, I wanted it to be a really luxurious lather, right? I wanted to have some big bubbles, so that's what the caster is for, and then the argan is going to sort of lend to the kind of creaminess of it. And you know, with the bat or the palm and the shea or the palm and the coconut, excuse me, at 50% of the batch, it's going to be just a really nice lather. I love the way that this one lathers and moisturizes. It feels like something extra special, and so that's what you get when you do, you know, a 50-50 blend like this with these particular oils. So I knew that I was going to have to modify this and it wasn't going to be a precise, you know, like marbled soap technique. And that's okay because I did want this one to be, since the colors were a bit more bold and the scent blend is definitely more bold than a lavender honey, right? I wanted them to be, I wanted the design to be, you know, more bold, really. So that's, you know, what I'm doing with the, uh, so all of it is, you know, working out perfectly. And this particular hanger swirl that I'm going to do to this, this is, I don't know, probably the hanger swirl that every soap maker does in their first batches of hanger swirls in that there's no real rhyme or reason to anything that you're doing, right? So that's, you know, cool, but I'm just gonna stick it all the way down to the bottom and do a couple of swirls up and down, throw the, through the width of the soap, and then, you know, a couple of swirls back, yep, and just work that batter into itself and do the thing, which is good for, again, that's good that we have a, a thicker batter with all of this because it actually will pull into the other colors. Each of the colors will pull into, you know, the other ones really nicely instead of, you know, if your batter is too thin, it's just going to be, you're pulling your soap batter through, or you're pulling your hanger through water, essentially, if that makes sense. And it doesn't really move much, right? There's not going to be much color movement. And if it's too thick, kind of the same thing. So this is really the perfect consistency to do a hanger swirl. Don't ever try to get your swirls, a hanger swirl through batter that's way too thin because you will have just dirtied your hanger for, for no reason. Not that dirtying your hanger is a big deal. I mean, you just wipe it off and okay, done, done. But still, it's 12 extra seconds that you won't have, that you won't need to, uh, to spend if your batter is too thin. But this one was not. It was delightful. Now for the top of this, I'm just going to do a cute little little swirl here to skewer it all out. And I love swirling soaps. I love decorated soap tops. It's always my most favorite part of the whole entire soaping process is doing something pretty on the top. And this one certainly is pretty. And now this is ready to go in the oven for C-pop. Want to keep that purple nice and bright. It's very important for this one. And we will, you know, force it through gel to accomplish that. And 
yeah, do the, the cutting and the things tomorrow and see what kind of beautiful swirls we're working with inside the bar. Okay, it's cut day. And look how shiny and beautiful that is. It's so nice. This is why I love gel. Everything looks so beautiful here. That is just, yep, that's delightful. A little bit of seepage going on, on the top, and that's to be expected with the ginger lime scent that happens. The bar always reabsorbs this one, so that's good. And let's see what we, oh, how pretty are you? Yes, that is so nice. I love that so much. Oh, come on, that is beautiful. Oh my gosh. This is another one that you could do cool soap brush shock with. Have you guys seen the things that are going around social media like it's a black and white picture and if you see a monkey you're creative and if you see a tiger face you're analytical and you know, those sorts of things it's like that you could see all kinds of cool images in this and also you know different ones depending on who you are and how your brain works and that is just lovely this is very striking such a beautiful design now, keeping the white super white was a really great idea. So no no scent or anything went in that, and all of the kaolin clay ended up in there. So it ended up a very super white white. And all of... Sorry, the kiddos just came in to whisper something to me and then moved along before I could answer them. So I guess it wasn't that important. Oh, that one has a cool blossom on it. Yeah. So yeah, all of the swirls and everything look very beautiful. I love this. This is going to look stunning with the gold, with the gold leaf on it. Oh my gosh, this is so pretty. Oh, and the top's gorgeous too. And you know, speaking of the gold leaf, here it is. And I don't know, I I can't decide whether or not I'm going to stamp the the bars that I made for myself to keep, you know, here for, you know, a limited edition line bar thing with the gold leaf in the soap and clay or just regular because usually I don't do this for my soaps but this with the purple and the black and the gold on top that just really pops that is so beautiful I love that yes that's that is nice I, I'm sorry I don't really have a lot to contribute at this point I'm just looking at the the prettiness of all of the things and I love, love, love this design. This is just so stunning. I really do wish that I thought of something like this for my wedding. Like, this is such a cool, very personalized, and also, you know, sort of, you know, smart, you know, gift because for a wedding favor, because everybody uses soap, and that's awesome. So it's super cute and even if you don't use it you can just keep it forever to remember the you know day by it's also a very beautiful bar that will smell nice for quite some time before it loses all of its you know potency but that is just I cannot get over how beautiful those swirls turned out they are very nice I don't know why I don't do more purples in the line honestly now that I look at this since it is the exact same scent blend as the hello gorgeous I look at this and I'm, you know, considering changing the design of Hello Gorgeous completely and doing a purple with it. Maybe a purple swirl, although I have the, the swirl that we do in the Am I Bright, so that's also in the women's line. So I don't know if I would do it this way for that, for that reason alone, really, but the purple is nice. That would be, I mean, I guess I did the green because it's ginger lime, so lime, green, yes. But I, I don't know, would you care that a ginger lime vanilla bean soap named Hello Gorgeous was purple black and white instead of green black and white? I really like these colors together. That purple just looked, that, 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 that one worked out so well. That is actually a blend of the Orchid Mica from Brambleberry and Harold's Purple Crayon from Mad Micas. So that's a really lovely purple blend. I'm gonna to have to remember for you know later soaps but that is just the prettiest thing that
that I have seen in a while. Oh yeah, you spray it with alcohol and make sure all the extra, you know, gold stuff can easily come off from the parts that you don't want to be gold. And that is what you are left with. Such a beautiful bar of soap with just, that is lovely. Look at that. That's so beautiful. I'm, wow. I'm, now I want this to be a part of my permanent line. Except obviously not the M and the S and the love thing because that's not, that doesn't make sense on a daily. But yeah, that is a day 128. Custom wedding soaps, ginger lime, vanilla bean, hello gorgeous. Yeah. These soaps are beautiful. I love them so much. Like I, when I cut into this bar, I saw this design and went, I want to add this to my line and kind of wished that I had done the Hello Gorgeous with the purple instead of the green because I love purple. And I love the gold leaf and the, the stamping of, you know, these soaps. And that's the cool thing about wedding soap. Since I do have the heart that says love and all the little individual embosser tools, these can be customized to anyone's wedding and anyone's, you know, initials. So that's a fun tip. If you're interested in wedding soaps, you know, hit me up and I'm definitely happy to help you with uh, your ideas and, you know, make that a reality. I hope you guys enjoyed the video today. That is it for me. I actually do have these available on my website. Again, I liked the design so much that I decided to make some for myself. So they are available at soapandclay.com without the heart and the MS because you're probably not M and S. So they're just stamped with soap and clay. And uh, if you're interested in following me on social media, you can do the things. I'm there, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. And again, thank you so much for joining me for another round of 365 days of soap. I super appreciate it. I will see you all tomorrow and we will see what I'm making. And I really have no idea. So I'll see you then. Bye.